Hi everybody, welcome to my channel and from the title of this video you can already tell that I'm going to show you my nail polish collection. Now I love to watch these type of videos, whether it's nail polish or makeup or any other thing. I love to watch collection videos and I also really like to film them. The last time I filmed it was, I think, in 2016 because in 2017 I was moving my nail polishes were in storage so I don't think I filmed it that year I didn't even film that much that year so I think it was 2016 and I actually think that my collection now is smaller than uh, 2016 which is funny because usually if you watch videos on YouTube about collections you see them grow and grow every single year. And that's because people buy stuff, but you also get sent PR packages, which is amazing because it gives you the opportunity to try so much stuff and your collection just grows and it's really nice. But for me, it got a little bit overwhelming. I had too many nail polishes. When I opened drawers, I had no idea what to pick. It also sort of stops your creativity because when you open it you feel overwhelmed so you close it and that's it done you're not doing nail art for the day um so before i moved i got rid of between two or three hundred uh, nail polishes which was great it felt so good then my nail polishes went in storage for about 10 or 11 months and when I unpacked my boxes I noticed that a lot of the nail polishes I didn't really miss. I also thought that I would probably not use them so I got rid of another 200 nail polishes which is great. I really like it. Now when I open drawers I have empty spaces and it's not that cluttered anymore. I have room for newer ones and I just really really like it. So uh, this collection didn't grow any bigger, it actually got smaller but it's definitely not a small collection. Don't expect a small collection because I still have a lot um, because I still want to keep as many options as I can just when I do nail art so I have all the colors that I need. So it's not a small collection, it just got a little bit smaller and I really like it. So I don't want to make this intro too long and let's just start with this video. Let me start with showing you what polishes I have in my background. Over here you see the Franken by Dance Legend nail polish set and this is a set where you can create your own nail polish. I made a video about it and it's really cool. Then over here you see at the Melsa's World, these polishes are from NCLA and I love them. The only thing that I would change is maybe if you have one letter that you have two different colors. Because now as you can see my D is the same, my E is the same, my L is the same. So it would be nice if you can choose a different color. But besides that they are so incredibly cool and I use them in videos. As you can see the polishes are being used. And then over here I have my Ciate Nail Lab. This is also a lab where you can create your own nail polish. I made a video about this, but this set is not available anymore. So you can't buy it, unfortunately. But it's still really, really cool. I have this cabinet over here that used to be for my grandma. And I got it when she passed away. And inside I put a few polishes that I really, really like. So over here I have a Nouveau polish and the bottle is so so pretty and this one is really old because I think this collection is from 2009. This brand made holographic polishes before all brands started to make them and you have to apply this one with the special uh, aqua base coat otherwise you can't apply this then it's horrible. Um, nowadays you can just apply holographic nail polishes with any base coat that you want but in the beginning you needed the special aqua base coat and look at this bottle how pretty it is i really really love it so i'm definitely going to keep this one i also have the pink one and the green one then i have this very pretty polish with from peripera and it has a cat on top it is so cute so that's why i have it over here and then I have the three kawaii polishes from Essence because they're just so funny. So I like to put them in there. I almost forgot. I also have the men with the golden gun uh, top coat from OPI in there. I love that golden bottle. My very first drawer. And if you've watched my other videos, then you know what's in here because it's always the same. 
this is my basic drawer. So over here I have my base coats and my favorite one is still the Dury Rejuva coat number one, but it's pretty hard to find right now. Plus on eBay, it's really expensive. So I think that after I finish this bottle, I'm going to find a new favorite. Then over here I have my top coats from all different brands. Here I have some nail care products like oils and scrubs. A scrub I use every once in a while. Oils I use a lot because it's really, really good for your nails. Then here are my peel off base coats. In the corner, I'm not sure if you can see it, but over here, look, look, there they are. They, those are my mattifying top coats. And then here I have some other nail care products that didn't fit in my other drawer. Now let's start with the good stuff and here are my nail polishes. As you can see, my drawer has some empty space and that's because I cleaned up a lot and I also want to keep some space just in case I receive new nail polishes, then I can just put them in there without having to reorganize everything again. On the left, I have my shimmer polish and they have the most amazing glitter nail polishes. I really love them, but I don't think they make nail polishes anymore. Maybe you can still buy the older collections because they're just so incredibly good. They have amazing colors, basically everything that you want, they have it and they are just the best glitter nail polishes out there. Um, but I don't think they release any new collections anymore. So if you want something, uh, you can try to go to their website and uh, see if they still sell it. But I'm not 100% sure, so you need to check that out. On the right side, I have Sally Hansen, and for now, I'm keeping them over there. I'm not 100% sure if this brand is cruelty free because one side says they are and the other says they are not. So I still have to look into it. And if I'm 100% sure, I know if I can keep them or if they're going away. But for now, I'm leaving them over here. And a polish that I really love is this one because it's a gorgeous rose gold color and so nice. It's called Mary Glitter. Christmas. and yeah they have really good polishes so I hope that I can keep them the bottles are always really big so you can use them for a really long time I think their price is really good and like I said they just have some really really pretty colors that's why I really like the brand but like I said if they're not cruelty free I don't want them in my collection so I'm not 100% sure if they're staying but for now they're over here this is my favorite drawer because this is my Dance Legend drawer. I love this brand. They have so many amazing collections, really good colors. Most of the time the formula is really good. And if you've paid attention, you've seen that I use their polishes a lot in my videos just because I like them so much. They have so many unique um, nail polishes. This is one from a Las Vegas collection. It has a little light in there. It's just so funny. It doesn't really do a lot, but still, it's just the idea is really funny. I also really love this one, the black and white top coat. Their holographic polishes are also really, really good. And they also have these smaller bottles. Um, I love this duochrome. As you can see, I've almost emptied it, which I'm a little bit sad about. But then again, I like to use my polishes. This is from their stamping collection, which also works really well. So like I said, they have so many different things to choose from. And um, I just really, really like them. And again, you can see that I have some space left here, but I still work with them. So I'm just leaving it like this. So if I get some new nail polishes, I can just put them in there. My next drawer is completely filled with the Bora Milano nail polishes. On the left you see their smaller nail polishes. I really like them because they have so many amazing colors and the formula is usually really good. Um, the only thing, if you use them on all 10 nails, you will finish them pretty quickly because they are really, really small. But I usually use these for details in my nail art. And then over here I have, this is the Formula Pure collection. I don't have all of them anymore. In the beginning I wanted to keep them all just so I have uh, number one till 22. But as you can see, I got rid of a few of them because for me, it just didn't make sense to keep colors just so I have all the numbers. Um, so I got rid of a few of them, but I really, really like these polishes. 
In my next drawer, I have two brands and on the left it is Ciate and these are all their mini nail polishes. These used to be in their advent calendars, but I never used them because I had no idea which colors I had because they're just in the calendar so you don't really see them. So I took them all out and now I use them quite often actually because they are really nice, they're really good colors and I'm actually really happy that I took them out because now they're actually being used. Then on the right I have Zoya and Zoya is one of my favorite brands. I love their nail polishes, the formula is really good. They have amazing colors, they're vegan, they're just really, really good. But over here they are so expensive. One bottle is around 12 euros and I think in America it's like seven or eight dollars per bottle. So that's like seven euros. So it's just so much cheaper. So if I ever go to America, I'm definitely going to stock up on Zoya nail polishes. The ones that I have, I've all used them a lot, but I just, like I said, I really like them. This is a yellow one that I got from a subscriber, which is really pretty. I also really like their mattifying nail polishes. They're just really good. The red one is still on my wish list. I also really like their pixie dust nail polishes. They have some of the most amazing colors. I also just like their plain cream colors because they're so good. You can use them for nail art, for water marbling. I just really, really love this brand. In here I have a few different brands. On the left you see my China Glaze collection and most of them are from the OMG collection. This was a limited edition uh, collection that was released many years ago. The polishes are really, really pretty, but once they were sold out, they were really expensive. You wanted to get them on eBay or somewhere else, but now they re-released them. So if you want them, definitely go get them. And my other polishes are from the Kaleidoscope collection. This collection was also really, really pretty. They didn't re-release this one, but maybe they will. And these are also really nice. And another polish that I also really love is this one because it's such a good neon pink. It looks different on camera because my camera is freaking out over this color, but it is amazing. And if I wear this, I always get questions what polish it is. So it's really cool. Then over here, I have a few more polishes from Dance Legend, but these are the ones in collaboration with Anna Gorilova and they are really nice. The formula is really good and they have some really unique colors. That's why I love them and I swatched a lot of them on my blog. So if you want to see that, definitely check them out. And then over here, I have a couple of different collections from the Bor Milano. Basically, I just went through all my collections and just picked out the polishes that I still really liked and wanted to keep. And they are over here. I really love this matte polish because the color is just so good. I also really love their denim collection because it has that blue satin finish, which is really nice. And here are some random other colors. In here I have my Ella and Mila nail polishes and I love them. The formula is so good. The brushes are really nice to work with. I love the bottles. They have amazing colors and they are vegan. So for me, this is the perfect brand and I really, really want to have more. The only thing that I don't like is the fact that once I've placed a really big order right before I went on my no buy because I wanted to have more colors so I can use their polishes in my videos. Um, so I placed a big order and I didn't hear anything and then all of a sudden I got my money back and that's it. So I emailed them like what's going on because I want my nail polishes not my money back and they just told me the package returned that's it. Next time use a different address and I was like but all companies send all my packages to the same address and it always goes perfectly fine so my address is not a problem but that was it. No more reply, that's just it. And that was a little bit like, they didn't even ask me if I wanted to place another order or anything like that. They didn't really try to work with me. It was just like, here's your money back, next time use a different address, buy. And that's the only thing that I don't really like, but I really love their polishes and I really hope to have more one day. Over here I have my Pupa nail polishes and I really like the nail polishes. I just don't like this packaging at all. These bottles are so annoying. Every time if I open this drawer a little bit too fast, they all fall over. And I have this thing in here that prevents uh, nail polishes from going all through this drawer, which works really well. But for these, they still fall over. So I just 
really don't like the bottles. I always open this drawer very carefully. Um, but the colors are really nice and I also like their formula. So I do use them a lot. Then over here I have a England and I don't have a lot of their nail polishes. But as you can see I use them a lot. This is Percival which I love. This is Camelot which is empty almost. Um, then over here I have Elaine which is a really pretty purple. And then this one is Princess Tears, which is also really nice. I love the brand. They are really good. They're a little bit expensive, but like I said, a really good formula and overall a really good brand. But I don't really have that many just because of the price. And of course, I'm on a no buy. Then over here, I have my Debor Milano travel sized nail polishes. So this is a nail polish and a top coat uh, or top coat and base coat in one. There are some really nice colors in here and I haven't used them yet, but maybe it's good for my upcoming trip. And then at the end, I have my last couple of Nouveau nail polishes. These are so pretty. The bottles are huge. These used to be 10 euros a piece, but the bottle is like really, really huge. So it will take you a long time to finish it. And the bottles are amazing. But I already showed you these in my little cabinet. And over here I have another holographic one. So I have six of them, but two of them I have in my little cabinet and the rest I have over here. Then in the back you see a couple of nail polish sets and I put them there because I just put that stuff in that prevents my nail polishes from going through my drawer. So I put it over there because otherwise it will curl up again. Uh, over here I have two packages from Pupa. I love them. They are really good. And then over here I have the Debor Milano Rock This Town set. We're almost at the end. On the left side you see my OPI nail polishes that didn't fit in my nail polish rack. Then you see my NCLA polishes and I love this brand. They have so many pretty colors. The formula is really good and I just really like them. Then you see my bow nail polishes and these are from the same brand as Dance Legend and I really like them. Look at this duochrome. It's just so, so nice. It's really pretty. And then at the end, you see my polishes from the new black. I used to have a lot of them, but I got rid of most of them because I don't think the company even exists anymore. They don't make new nail polishes. And I think it didn't work because the polishes are really small. They were good, but they were really small and they were too expensive. Then over here, I have a small set from OPI. Like I uh, said in my previous drawer, I put them over there just so that thing won't curl up. And then in the end, I have two sets from Siate. The last drawer, you guys, you made it all the way until the end of the video. And I think I'm going to tell you something different with this drawer than last time, because I used to hate this drawer because it's such a messy, chaotic drawer with all different types of bottles, all different types of colors. And there's just, my other drawers are really organized and this one isn't. And I used to hate that, but I can definitely tell how much I've changed because now I love this drawer. It's just so nice to go through this and then discover all the different types of bottles and so many hidden gems when it comes to nail polish colors. So now I really like to go through here. Of course, this one I already showed you. I got it from a subscriber and I used it so much because it's one of my favorites. I love this one as well. And every time when I pick a nail polish out of this drawer, it's just one that I really like. And it's so funny for me because I used to hate this drawer so much because it wasn't organized. But now I really don't care about that stuff anymore. And now I just like to go through here and just see what I have and discover all these really, really pretty colors. Um, so yeah, that's just really funny. This is also one that I really like. It's from Picture Polish and it's called Blogger. And it's a lovely, lovely gl uh, glitter polish. It's just really, really cool. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I did clean it up a little bit because this drawer used to be completely full, but now I have some space at the end. So basically every polish that I take out of this drawer, I love because they're all such good colors. So yeah, that is it. I really hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye!